Hi everyone. Uh, well, it's finally here. I finally got my turbo. Uh, just kind of got it sitting on a pail here. Just uh, figure out how things are going to fit and whatever. But, uh, actually, it's going to fit away better than I thought it would. Uh, there's going to be room for my battery. And there's going to be room for my exhaust and everything. I don't think there should be any problem there. My wastegate pipe should have some room. Uh, boys might even have room. I have to build a guard. If bump start set, i got to build a guard because it's going to get a little warm. <coughs> He's figuring... Uh, short runs that we're doing the way he wants it to be tuned uh, pre-turbo exhaust will probably reach a thousand degrees celsius so I think he means celsius I don't know probably anyway uh, as you can see that's a, basically the angle the turbo will be. I'll have to clock stuff so that it's sitting the right uh, direction. But uh, rather than make a big kinky corner pipe from there to go into the intake, we're going to clock this uh, the top of the mixer 90 degrees this way so that we'll just have to go 190 degree pipe here from a two inch to I think actually I, I guess they call it three I believe this is three of an eighth or a sixteenth or something on the outside it's probably three on the inside so that's what I'm up to I'm just going to pull the bolts out of here and uh, just change stuff around so that it'll be more friendly and actually it doesn't really bother me to do it either that vapor hose it was fine. I had no beefs with it, but uh, it, w it was pretty short in there, and, which is fine, I guess. But we'll get it around the other side. It'll have just a little more length, and I don't know. In the propane world, it's probably still considered a short run. You know, it'll be twice as long or a little more, but heck, that's nothing. Yeah, I just thought I'd throw this in, and I'll, I'll update it here one of these days. And, ship stuff in for you. Some other stuff to change here to modding my oil filter. I'll show you that actually. I don't think I have it on a video. I've got it right here on my table. Uh, yeah, here we are. I've modded my oil filter cage. Good place to go. I don't know. I was going to go on, on the other side, but uh, I thought I don't want to go in there anymore. I'm, I'm, yeah, it gets a little tight, hard to work on stuff. So I decided I would keep it on the outside. Now that's actually I'm going to feed my turbo. It'll be the turbo uh, feed, and then the drain will go down the other side. I guess uh, I'm going to show you that too. Uh, actually, right down. Right down in here, I'm going to, I guess I'll probably have to remove my oil or my water pump and the OMP. I'll drill into there and, and tap it 1 8 NPT and that'll probably be my drain. It's, it's a good place, it's out of the way and it'll work fine. <clears throat> the turbo, it's a Godspeed, it's, it's not the most expensive thing you can buy by any means. Uh, the cold side is a 60AR, it's a T04B. And the hot side is a 1.15. So it's got a pretty wide bum on it. There's definitely lots of exhaust going to pile into it. I'm really looking forward to uh, starting on it. I'm going to mock up a set of pipes here, what I think I need, and get it all bolted into place and make it fit the way I want it. 
Then I'm going to take it over to the Hutterite colony here and he can make a jig to fit my mock-up pipes and then he's going to build a set of stainless steel stuff uh, that will fit in the jig that he's going to jig up around my pipes. So everything, it has to fit good because there's not a hell of a lot of room down in the bottom there. I mean there's, you know, actuators and that are pretty close together there. They could probably be set up a different way too, but they're not going to be, they're going to be that way. So, that's what we're doing right now. Uh, good story here, I, I'm going to take my time and tell you too. It's a funny story. These are my uh, propane vessels. I've, I've re-rigged them, everything's new on them. Uh, those tanks are actually tested at 3,000 pounds. Uh, I, I, I fill them with a 20 pound tank and uh, I took them out in the porch here the other day, had both doors open and hooked up my hoses, I'll try to get through this quick, hooked up my hoses to the tank and to one of these little, one of these guys, I have two of them that I'm going to run. And uh, gee, you know, I opened uh, the spitter valve and the darn thing filled up. Oh, within a minute, it was spitting out, starting to spit out propane, so I quit. Took them in, long story short, I decided, gee, you know, that went pretty well. I, I'm going to take them back out and just make sure that uh, they're full. So I went out, and I'd left the propane tank. It's, it was cool here that day. It was around zero or whatever. And took the pro uh, left the big propane tank out in the porch. These big guys were warm. You know, I went out there and hooked them hoses back up and it, <laughs> it sucked the propane back out of those little ones and back into that big tank faster than it went the other way the first time. They were uh, just a difference in pressure and temperature, I guess. It just worked absolutely backwards. But uh, it, it works really well. I just have to have the tanks all the same, uh, same pressure. But yeah, um, I couldn't believe it. You could hear lots of noise and action going on, but it wasn't blowing anything out. It was sucking air in uh, and letting the fuel go back into the other tank. So I guess maybe I'll have to build a black skirt or something for my 20 pounders. And Keep them a little warmer, I don't know. Anyway, there you go. Okay, I'm done with my uh, mod on my mixer here. I've changed it. I would give it a 90 degree turn. But, uh, it, it wasn't bad, actually. Like I, I said earlier here, I had to change this vapor hose. And it's not a lot longer. It just goes to the other side of the rig there. And across. Uh, this got a little tight under here. You can see where, you know, I made room. I mean, there's, it's okay, but yeah. But uh, everything turned out quite well, actually. Uh, you know, I think little jigging around here and I uh, guys should be just fine but, uh, taking shape a little better I haven't got any allen head screws here I want to put them in them little base holes I'll, I'll get some next time I'm in Saskatoon I guess make sure that those I, I just filed the heads of the bolts that were in there just so that I could get them snugged up good and sealed um, I'll buy some new ones um, even the, the balance tube actually turned out quite well. It doesn't stick out there as far as it looks. It's, it's quite compact. Looked okay. My return spring. Same deal. Uh, just, just a little different. Different angle. Actually, I, this is probably a little better. It's out of the way a little more. I really can't see it. Gets tight down in the bottom there, but there's room and there's nothing touching anything that matters, so that'll be fine. I'm looking forward to 
get over to the huts here fairly soon and they're going to do my manifold here. Uh, I'll probably end up going over and helping them with it so we get it the way we want it. But I don't think there's any fear in them not doing a nice job. I've seen some of the work that they've done over there. I've been over there lots of times. And they know me a little bit, so. No grief there, I don't think. They show, they'll do a fine job. And a hell of a lot less than what it would cost me in a... Uh, exhaust shop or something. These guys are going to polish it too, so... Who knows what it'll cost me, but... I'm sure there will be a bottle of something to drink in, involved and plus some some wages which I don't mind. I don't care. They, uh, I've had work done with them before and they, they do beautiful work. So I guess that's the way it is and that's the way it's going to be. And, uh, yeah, there you go. Have a good one.